Hey, my name is Matej Fekonja, uh, I go by the nickname Matafe and I'm a professional Apex Legends player for Guild. I started playing Apex uh, on the first day that it came out and I have been playing ever since. I have always been a very competitive person and I have always wanted co to compete in every game I played from CSGO to League of Legends before Apex. Since the beginning of Apex I always strive to be the best I could and very fast I got uh, noticed by some professional organizations, picked up and started competing. What made me switch from CSGO to Apex was the fact that I always thought that if I started playing CSGO earlier, I would get into the inner circle of the professional players and I could have easily made it. But because I wasn't one of the first, I was getting zoned out. Um, that's why I was passively waiting for any new game to come out, uh, to which I would dedicate my full time and that's what I did and it worked. The biggest reason why I took a year break from competitive Apex was because the country I am originally from, Slovenia, is not one of the allowed countries to play in LGS sponsored events. That meant that whenever I wanted to compete, I had to move. Other reasons were uh, some recent bad performances by me and my current team uh, back in the day that it just made me want to take a step back, reset and then come back to competitive with a fresh mind. My return to competitive has gone very smoothly and I think surprisingly well uh, because first of all I teamed up with my old teammate Silta which we both took a break together um, and after that we very fast found our third teammate Horizon uh, and invited to Pro League just because of our past achievements with a spot uh, secured in the Pro League also Guild noticed us, picked us up and yeah, we just performed to our best, got third place in the Pro League, and everything is going good so far. The difference between IGLing now for Guild and before my break for Orgres and Hungary is that back in the day we had a very big struggle with uh, positions on the team and roles. We could never find the perfect fit of champions and which person should play which champion that would benefit our team well. With the addition of Horizon, we got a wildcard player that's always aggressive, uh, that, that allowed me to take a step back, play Gibraltar, and by doing that, I have a much better overview and IGLing is much easier for me. With our wildcard invite to the Pro League, a lot of casters and also other teams uh, thought of us as, a, as an underdog, but with our top 3 performance and consistent good play, we have secured our spot at the top of the EU competitive scene, so that means that coming into the playoffs, everyone will respect us and know that we are here to stay. I think the current best teams in Europe and our biggest competition uh, would be same as we finished in the Pro League. So basically Gambit, Alliance and us, as we are top 3 teams in Europe. I think, I think the representation of the results from the Pro League is the most accurate because it was a long period of time, 6 weeks uh, and yeah, the best teams are on top. One of the teams that could do well in the playoffs, that didn't perform to the max of their abilities in the Pro League uh, I think it's Cars. Uh, I think they underperformed massively, which makes them still a scary opponent in the playoffs. Um, teriyaki chicken with guacamole. Loud, hyper, uh, wild card. Opposite of Horizon. Uh, Void Walker for Wraith. World's Edge, 100%. Besides Apex, I played Rust and some Total War games. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch or Instagram. And don't forget to sub to the Guild YouTube channel.